How's it going, YouTube? Justin here again. Smoking some Peterson Irish Oak in my Peterson Plateau freehand. Very reminiscent of um, the Danish freehands like in those made by Eric Nording and um, people like that. Pretty good smoke. Um, got a good amount of Perique in it mixed with Virginia's among other things. Um, decent nicotine, so yeah, quite a satisfying one. Um, today I wanted to talk about lighting your pipe. Um, it should be pretty straightforward, but it kind of isn't because your pipe lights a lot easier when you've got a nice layer of ash on top of the, the coal as opposed to when you're freshly lighting it. Now, normally what I use is a Zippo let's see if you can see it, there we go a Zippo pipe lighter and that produces a flame yeah, I've overfolded a bit um, that you suck down into the tobacco. That's all fine and dandy when you're um, when you've got a layer of ash on top of your coal and you can just draw down the flame neatly but when you first pack your pipe your tobacco isn't compacted enough so it's very difficult I find to light a pipe with a Zippo pipe lighter so what you can do and what I normally do is carry a little mini disposable lighter with and I just use this for um, the initial lights of my pipe um, I find that the flame can get pretty close to the bowl if you're not careful so use it with caution and then obviously once I've up, built up that nice layer of ash um, I use my Zippo but then I was going to my supermarket one day and I found one of these these are little lighters for, for, for tea candles and they're not the ridiculously long ones that you get for lighting your barbecue or your braai as we call it in South Africa They've got a real short um, kind of barrel to them. And I find these great because you can really stick it into your pipe and get the flame on the tobacco without ch worrying about charring the of your pipe. So, yeah, that's just my little piece of advice. Use it, don't use it. Um, I use a, a normal disposable lighter for the initial lights of my pipe to get the flame going and get the tobacco burning really nicely. Um, and then I use my Zippo pipe lighter. So it's a bit of a hassle, but carry two different kinds of lighters with you. Um, I find that works well. Um, get a pipe bag, something like this, um, which is a pipe pouch that I use. Uh, you can see it's got a compartment in the front where you can store your lighters and things like that. And then obviously you've got your, your pipes and your tobacco pouch and stuff like that. So. If you get yourself something like that, you don't have to worry about a couple of lighters rattling around in your pocket and things like that. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, just another shout out to um, Chandler, aka Junior Pipe Smoker. Keep up the good work, dude. You got some really, really cool and interesting videos. I really like that poker that you got from Paul's Pipes. Um, I'm a huge fan of acrylic stems. Um, I don't like the hassle that Ebonite and Vulcanite um, come with with regards to oxidation and stuff like that. Um, so really, really cool and your collection is going to grow from here. You'll see I also started with a couple of pipes and you'll blink and you'll have 10 and you'll blink again and you'll have 20 and you'll blink again and you'll have 50. So yeah, um, another shout out to uh, Nick aka Spokane Pipe Smoker. Um, he's getting a lot of yabos and that's really really interesting to watch um, I love watching people opening boxes and stuff like that uh, there's a real kind of sense of excitement and I think um, the, the, the YouTube pipe smoking community is just great that we share and share alike um, you know it's a wonderful sense of camaraderie as I've said um, in previous videos and it's just a community like no other um, Oh yeah, um, I just want to talk, I actually got this cue from Chandler um, when in his video, um, which I'll link uh, in the description below, um, he spoke about the direction of this channel and I thought it would be a pretty good um, thing for me to chat about what I'd like to do with my channel in the future.
Um, my three passions, or three of my passions, are pipe smoking, coffee, and video games. So, obviously that's the direction that this channel is going to take. Um, I echo channel sentiments in the sense that I don't want to flood the community with videos, because if you do that, I don't know, maybe I kind of run out of good stuff to talk about, and I don't want to make videos generally for the sake of making videos. I want to give a tidbit of information or a bit of advice or some musings on the world or something like that. Um, so I'm going to see if I can strike a balance between content and quantity. Um, and hopefully I'll get that right. Um, as I showed you in one of my previous videos, I got a Dazzle HD recorder for Christmas. And I'm going to be using that to record some gameplay footage on some of my games. And then we can start discussing video games. Um, and yeah, like many others, I do want to do a subs contest when I get to 100 subscribers. Um, I'm going to do a contest and I'm going to try and put together a prize of things that are primarily South African, so stuff that you guys in the States wouldn't be able to get. Um, some cool house blends from a locally renowned tobacconist, a um, couple of bits and pieces, um, we'll see. So yeah, uh, when I get to 100 subs, then we'll start the contest. Um, I'll work out the fine points of it at a later stage. Um, and then, yeah, I wanted to ask you guys, how many of you are into gaming? Um, do you have a PlayStation? Do you have an Xbox? Do you have a Nintendo? Um, let me know. I want to gauge if there is a crossover between the pipe community and the gaming community or if they are very two separate um, entities. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all. I hope you guys are well. I hope you enjoyed Pipe Hacks number two and got a little bit of clarification as to where my channel is going to go. And yeah. Speak to you guys soon. Justin out.